Please be seated. The court is now back in session. I hand over to the prosecution to continue putting questions to the witness. Mr. St. Munkin, thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Witness, I would like to continue with my question. Was there any point in time when you were appointed the secretary of a district? But Response. I was once appointed the uh, secretary of a district. It was in 1971. Question. What was the name of that district? Stop. Response. It was Pichinda District. Thank you. Question. Uh, can you recall when Mundulkiri sector was liberated by the Khmer Rouge? But Response. It was liberated in 1970. Thank you. Question. Concerning your appointment as the secretary of the district, who appointed you? Talang. Response. Talang. Question. When Talang appointed you as the secretary of the district, what was Talang's position really at the time? Response. I do not know what position he held. Question. Can you tell the court your job description, mainly your responsibilities and duties as the secretary of the district? Response. My duty was to manage and lead the people in order to ensure that people have proper shelter, enough food to eat. Question. How about the office of the district? Where was it located? Can you recall? Response. Our workstation was within the district office. Question. Where was the district office located? In which village or commune? The district office was in Busra village and Busra commune. No, uh, Question. In your work station, how many people worked there? Response. There were uh, a lot of people 
around 3,400 uh, citizens in the district. Question. Now, I would like to know about the official working in the district, Pachinda district office. How many people worked in the district office? Response. Basically, there were four, but uh, if we count uh, the combatants as well, there were around 30 of them. Question. The four officials working in the uh, district office, what were their respective functions? Response. Uh, their main role was to oversee the commune subordinate to the district. Question. How many communes were there in Pichinda district? Response. There were four communes. Questions. Do you recall the name of those four communes? Response. Yes. Krangte commune. First. Second. Busra commune. Third, Toswai Commune. And fourth, Cao Clare Commune. Thank you. Uh, do you know whether or not uh, there were secretary or member of the parties attached to each commune? Response. Certain communes, there were party members attached to them, but others, none. Question. Uh, who appointed the secretary of each commune? Response. I, as the secretary of the district, appointed them. Question. So you be became the secretary of the district in 1971. And for how long did you continue to hold uh, that position? I held that position from 1971 until 1978. Thank you. Question. In Sector 105, how many districts subordinated to Sector 105? Response. There were five districts. Question. Do you still remember the names of those five districts? But. Response. Kohnyej, first. Second, Ba district. Right. 
s e r t p e c h a n a District. Force, Orang District. Fifth, k a l s e m a District. บาคน Thank you. Question. Do you remember the secretary of respective districts? Response: I did not know them. If I have the permission from the president, I would like uh, to now put up the document uh, before the chamber and also on the screens. Document E3 s l a s h by 367. Khmer E O N 00. Two five one four three eight English E O N zero zero two seven eight six nine five French E R N zero zero four eight six zero one zero. This is the record of interview. Conducted by the Office of Co-investigating Judges, the President. Yes, you may go ahead. Thank you, Mr. President. In this document, you mentioned that other secretaries appointed in 1972 include key secretary of Orang District, s w a i secretary of k o h n e y District, Cham secretary of Chba District, k a m p u n secretary of k a u s e m a District. Is this the uh, correct uh, statement of yours? Respond. Yes, it is correct. Thank you. What was k a m p u n later on appointed in the sector? Respond. I do not know. I do not know what he was later appointed in the sector. Question. Did you know a man by the name of k a s i Response: I did not know him because we were far away from each other, geographically. Question: Can you tell the court in sector 105 which district shared the border with Vietnam? r e s p o n s e There were three districts. Question: What were they? r e s p o n s e They were one p e c h a n a Orang, and k a u s e m a districts. The three districts shared border 
เวียดเวียดนามตาลกดังเต้ question Do you know that uh, the uh, five districts subordinate to Sector 105 remain uh, five throughout the period from the 17th of April 1975 to the 6th of January 1979? Response: Yes, uh, there were five uh, districts, and these remain from the previous regimes as well. Question: Were there any addition of uh, other districts, or the uh, reduction of the number of districts? For example, there were five earlier on, and then later on, it was reduced to three or so. Respond: No, uh, there remained five throughout the period. Question. Do you recall as to when Kampun held on to his position as the secretary of the district? Response, I cannot recall. Do, do you know a man by the name Ham An Si who was a, a relative of Lang? Response Yes, I knew him. Question. How long did you know Ham on sea? Response. His village was close to mine. Question. How long did you know him? Did you know him for a long period or just a short, a short period of time? You are. Respond. I knew him for a long time. Actually, I, I knew him since we were little kids because we live in the village close to each other. Question. Did you know what position uh, Ham on sea held during the period of the Democratic Kampuchea? I did not know what position he held. Now, with permission from Mr. President, I would like to project a document, which is uh, the uh, statement of Mr. Hum on C, document E3-366 or D125-165. Here and in Khmer zero zero two four two four one two two one three E R N in English zero zero two five zero seven four nine 
E R N in French zero zero two eight three one six four two six five. The President, I note the Defence Council is on its feet. You may proceed. National Council for Kyushu. I note that the document the prosecutor is about to uh, put before the chamber belongs to another person. I don't know whether or not this uh, document is being used in order to impeach against his witness uh, or not. And, and I'm of the opinion that this document cannot be uh, used as the basis for putting the question to this witness. And in addition, uh, the uh, person in that uh, uh, document is not here uh, to respond uh, to any question uh, that the prosecutor is about to ask. The President, uh, the representative of the prosecution, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, uh, let me just respond uh, quickly to that. Uh, the trial chamber has been allowing uh, the use of witness statements of other witnesses who are not going to appear before the chamber, uh, where certainly where uh, there's a matter within that that is within the witness's knowledge. Uh, it is our understanding that this a person is deceased now, so he will not be appearing. There's no possibility of him testifying. The trial chamber has allowed uh, all the parties uh, uh, to use uh, witness statements of witnesses uh, who will not appear as witnesses uh, pursuant to a ruling that was issued a couple of weeks ago. And that is why we want to uh, ask a quick question to this witness from this document. The President, since this document has already been granted uh, by the Chamber, for a record of interviews conducted by the investigator of the Office of Co-Investigating Judges, concerning the witness whom the chamber may not um, summon to testify before the court, then uh, the uh, party may put the question concerning uh, such a record of interview. So the objection by the defense counsel for in, uh, for Q Sampon is not sustained, and the prosecutor may 
have the document projected on the screens. Mr. Singh Bun King. Thank you, Mr. President. According to the statement by Mr. Ham on C, in the document I indicated earlier, Ron, he said that uh, he was the uh, district committee members of Khao Se Ma back in 1977. And in mid-1978, he went to Nong Khi Lik commune because the whole population of Khao Sema district was removed uh, because of the fear of their uh, participation or rally with the Vietnamese. Vietnamese. So do you agree that this uh, statement is an accurate reflection of that situation at the time? A response, yes. Yes, there was a removal of the population of that commune, and people were removed and relocated in Koh Nhe district. Question. Do you know how many people resided in the Khao Sema district then? Response. I did not know the exact number of population in that district back then. Question. Were they all relocated to Koh Nye district or to other districts? Response. They were relocated to the district. Question. Besides the Kornye district, were they also sent to other districts or only to the Kornye district? Response. They were transferred from Kalsima to Kornye district, but in that area they were still considered part of the Kalsima district. Question. To your knowledge, did you know the reason for the relocation of the people? Response. No, I did not. Question. In general, were you or other district secretaries in sector 105 have to report it through? Response. All have to report through the sector. Question. Who was your superior? Response. It was the sector. Question. What was the name of the person in that sector? Response. It was Ta Lang. Question. Did Talang have any other alias? Response. I do not know whether he has any other alias. I only knew him by the name of Talang. Question. 
Did you know about the role and responsibility of uh, Ta Lang in his capacity as the sector secretary? Respond. I only knew that he was the sector secretary and that was all. Question. In relation to the reporting system, whom did Talang report to? Response, I do not know whom Talang would report to. Question, during the Democratic Cambodia regime, was sector 105 considered an autonomous sector? Response, yes. It was referred to as an independent sector. Thank you. Question, can you inform the chamber what was the difference between an independent sector like 105 through other sectors as part of the zone? Response, I cannot uh, tell you that. Question. Besides Talang, who was the sector secretary, who were the members of the sector at that time? Response. Uh, there was uh, Kampun, there was Mai, there was uh, Jam. That's all. Question. As for yourself, in addition to your role as the district secretary, did you have any other role or were you a member of the sector? Response. No, I did not have any other role. I was, my role was only the district secretary. Thank you. Mr. President, I will again refer to document D175-3.55. And please, uh, Assistant, can you assist with the projection of the document on screen? The President, yes, you can uh, do so. AV unit. Could you see in the projection of the document on the screen? In your revolutionary biography that is in relation to question 11, you wrote that you were a member of the sector committee and in charge of two districts. The two districts that you were in charge in this biography, what are the names? Response. I was in charge of the uh, two districts in terms of the economic affairs. Question, can you call the names of the two districts? Response. It was uh, Pekinda and Orang, which was adjacent to Pekinda. Question. In your role as a sector member in charge of health, what year was that?
response. It was in 1975. Thank you. What were your spe specific responsibilities when you were in charge of the sector health? Response, I was asked to prepare for the health office in the sector also regarding the, the housing and the hospital uh, in that sector to make sure that the hospital was clean. Question, how many hospitals in sector 105 during the decay period? Response, there was one uh, sector hospital and in each district, uh, there was a district hospital, which was in a smaller form. Question. In sector 105, where did you receive the medicine and the medical equipment? Response, we received them from Phnom Penh. Question, do you know who delivered those medicines and medical equipment? Response. No, I do not know. It was the sector secretary who received uh, those uh, medicines and medical equipment. Questions. Based on your observation in sector 105, were there sufficient medicines and medical equipment during the period? Response. Yes. It was sufficient, sufficiently enough. It was not abandoned, but it was not uh, insufficient. There were adequate medicines and equipment for the treatment of people. Question. In Mundulkiri, during the decay period, in general, what kinds of diseases or what were the health issues in the area? Response. First is the malaria, which was the major disease. And then there were TBs and other forms of uh, diseases. and the work acquired a number of them. Thank you. I would also like to present the same document at EAN in that is the document D one seven five slash three point five five with EN in Khmer zero zero two three zero seven Eight two on screen. The president, judge, yeah, you can proceed to do so. In your revolutionary biography, again at the question eleven. You wrote that you were also in the Foreign Committee for Sector 105. What was your role in that Foreign Relations Committee response? 
when we were in the forest, in the term of foreign relation committee was that because I knew the Jarai language, so I was appointed as member of the committee to liaise in terms of economy. Question in your role to work as a foreign relations committee, when did you start working in that committee? Response. It was for only one year. That was in 1974. Question. In your capacity as a member of the sector committee for the foreign relation committee, what was your specific uh, task? Response. We contacted uh, each other in relation to economic affairs. Question. Can you recall where was the working office in Sector 105? Response. It was in Kohnyej village, Kohnyej commune and district. Question. Was there any a code name for that uh, working office? Response, no, there wasn't. Question. Do you know what K-17 stands for? Response. K-17 was a working office of the sector. Thank you. Question. How many people working at the sector office? Response, I did not know how many people working in that office. Thank you. Question, in relation to the meetings held with the party leader prior to 1975, in 19, between 1963 and 1975, did you ever participate in any meeting with the party leaders? <coughs> Response, no. Question. Between 1966 through 1970, did you ever participate in any other meetings in Ratanakiri province? Response, no, I did not. I seek the President's permission to present the document E3-367 or D125-167 at ERN in Khmer 00251437. in English 00 Two seven eight six nine three and in French zero zero four eight six zero zero nine. Response Yes, you the President, yes, you can do so. Thank you, Mr President.
In this document, you state that uh, prior to 1970, you participated in a meeting with Talang, Tatut, and Taya at Oliu in Ratanakiri province near the Vietnamese border. Is this a correct statement? Response, yes. Who were Tatuch and Nataya? Response, I do not know them. I only knew that they came to attend the, the meetings. Response. Can you recall where the meeting was held? Response. No. Uh, can I cannot recall. At that time, we were in the forest. And the meeting took place in uh, Ratanakiri province. Question. Did you know how many people participating in that meeting? Response, there were three or four attendees uh, in that uh, meeting. It was held in the forest. Question, can you recall what were discussed during the meeting? Response. The meeting was about the forced mobilization to attack the American imperialist. There was uh, the main call and to liberate the country. Question. Did it discuss any other topics? Response, no. I would like to continue to, to show the same document. That is document E3 slash 367, PN in Khmer 002514. And the one in English is 0027-8693, in French, 0048-6009. President, yes, you can proceed. Mr. Witness, uh, this is a record of your interview before the Office of the Co Investigating Judges. You talk about the building of the false mobilization to fight against the American imperialist, the feudalist, and the capitalist. Is that correct? Response as I just stated earlier, yes. Question. Did you receive any instructions regarding the opposition or the fight against the feudalist and the capitalist? Response. We received instructions from Matalang to fight against the American imperialist, the feudalist, and the capitalist, and to liberate the country. Question. At that time, what were you told to do in fighting against the feudalist and the capitalist? Response. We actually did not do anything.
the question is that during the meeting, what were the instructions to do for the purpose of fighting against the feudalist and the capitalist? Response. We were told to fight against the oppressive regime. That was all. Question. During the meeting, did you see whether Pol Pot or Ian Seri attending that meeting? Response. I never saw them. Question. Between 1970 and 1975, did you travel to participate uh, any meeting in Kampong Thom province? Response. Yes, I went for a meeting there once. Question. Can you recall what year was that? Response. No, I cannot recall it. I cannot recall the year. Question. In the meeting in Kampong Thom province, who were the meeting participants? If you can recall. Response. I cannot recall anyone. There were quite a large number of participants, but I did not uh, know them because that was the only meeting I went to. I would seek the permission from the president to present the same documents. That is E3-367. EIN is 00251437 in English 00278694 and in French 00486009. The President, yes, you can proceed. Thank you, says the prosecution. Mr. Witness. In that document, when you respond to the investigator of the OCIJ, that in 1971, you went to attend the meeting in Kampong Thom province. The attendees from Mundukiri were Lang and Mai, and the senior leaders from Phnom Penh included Puch and Pol Pot. Can you recall, besides the senior leaders, Touch and Paul Paul, were there anybody else? Response, I did not know any other people. That's all I knew. Question. Was it the first time that you met with Pol Pot? Response. That was the first and only time. Question. Did you know the position of Pol Pot at the time? Response, no, I did not. I did not know which position he held at the time. Question, do you know a person by the name of Mai? Response, I knew him. He was a member of the Mundulkiri Sector Committee.
question. Can you recall that the meeting in Kampong Chom Province in 1971? Where was it held, and how many participants? Response: I did not know where it was held, and I cannot tell you the number of participants. Question: Can you recall how many days did the meeting take place? Respond: It was almost uh, ten days. Thank you. Question: During the meeting. Which senior leaders made the presentation? Response: I only saw Paul Pot making the presentation. Question: What were the content of Paul Pot's presentation? Response: The presentation was again regarding the fighting against the American imperialist. Question: uh, The presentation was about the fight against the uh, American imperialist. Was there any presentation regarding the fight against the Lunar soldiers? Response: No, I only knew about the false mobilization to fight against the American imperialist. Question: To according to your personal knowledge, were Lunar officers and soldiers regarded as the enemy of the party? Response: No, I did not know about that. Question: In the same meeting in Kampong Chom Province in 1971, can you recall if there were a party? Congress to elect member of the Central Committee. Response: No, I cannot recall that. The President. Thank you, Representative of the Prosecution. Thank you, Mr. Witness. The proceeding today is going to conclude, as it is the appropriate time. And the hearing will continue tomorrow, starting from 9 a.m. As for tomorrow, we will continue to hear the testimony of the witness Sal Saron, questioned by the prosecution. Mr. Sal Saron, as the hearing of your testimony has not yet concluded. It will continue tomorrow, and the chamber will invite you to testify again tomorrow. Likewise, the duty counsel you are invited to appear tomorrow morning. And please make yourself available tomorrow morning, court officer. In collaboration with Wisu, please arrange for the travel of the witness to his residence and have him return tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Security guards are instructed to take the three accused back to the detention facility and have them back here tomorrow morning before 9 a.m.
The hearing is now adjourned. All rise, says the graffiti.